Connor Maynard is one of the new breed of artists gaining prominence via YouTube, joining the likes of Austin Mahone, Cy, and Justin Bieber as those who can claim success via that particular online destination. The British star was signed by Neo and has also caught the ears of some other prominent names in the music industry. Maynard said he was just having fun and had no plans or hopes on being a signed artist. One of the reasons it was kind of so incredible and um, amazing that I, I kind of, you know, got signed um, through online is that I, I, had, I had, you know, there was no plan. It wasn't like I thought to myself, oh, yeah, I'm going to put my covers online and then I'm going to get, you know, a record deal. It was just a hobby that I had. It was just something that I really enjoyed doing when I was at home. Um, you know, every time I'd come home from school, come back from college and I'd record a cover and just put it up online because that's what I enjoyed doing. And then, you know, when I started to get loads of views, that was really cool, but I still didn't think to myself, oh, if people are looking now, I could get, you know, I could get signed. So for me, it was just... Um, just something that was, it was just something that I really enjoyed doing. And when it did, obviously, get the attention of people like Neo and, you know, other artists, it was kind of, it was a crazy moment when that started to really come. Even though Neo signed him while he was independent on YouTube, he also came to the attention of some other artists. Well, I mean, uh, Pharrell, he had seen my, um, my uh, covers online. He'd been watching me. I actually ended up working with Pharrell in Miami. Um, and he produced and wrote two tracks on my album, so that was really, really cool. But yeah, he had been following me on, on YouTube for a, for a few years before he, co he contacted me. And uh, Chris Brown as well, he actually tweeted one of my covers, um, or I think it was about two years ago, he tweeted one of my covers of, of his track, uh, yeah, three times, which was just really cool. So, Lastly, due to his story, many are casting him as the new Justin Bieber, and the press has been talking about it and asking about it constantly. So is he sick of the comparisons? Um... You know, I think for me, I can definitely obviously see the similarities in the way that we, you know, we both came through YouTube, we're both quite young, I feel like, um, but I feel, yeah, I mainly I feel like the differences lie, lie within the music. I feel like when it comes to hearing the album, that's where you start to hear the, you know, the contrast um, between the two, the two of us. And I feel, um, you know, yeah, as I, when I was recording my album, you know, I didn't want to try and rip it off, I was really trying not to kind of sound like anyone else. So, um, you know, I feel like it's a different kind of sound. Obviously, I'm two years older as well, I'm from the UK, so the influences are slightly different also. So, yeah, for me, I feel like... Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to be the second anyone. I'm trying to be the, the first Connor Maynard, so, so, yeah. Connor Maynard's latest single, Turnaround, featuring Neo, is holding steady in the U.S. at number 32 on the FMQB pop radio chart. His album, Contrast, debuted at number 34 on the Billboard 200 album chart.